Hi everyone, we are on Vlogmas number seven. <laughs> I had to check the date on my, on my watch because I looked at the advent calendar. That's not gonna help me if I don't know what number we're on. So I thought that today, my voice is finally getting a little bit better. So I'm not sure if this is gonna actually work because <clears throat> I gotta be careful though. I don't wanna strain too much and then get back to point, back to zero. Um, a lot of people have sent me recommendations for uh, colds, so I thought it would be fun if we tried some of them. Uh, any of them involving alcohol, though, I'm not going to be doing, only because I have had hot toddies, but with this cold, I've had like a very, a very persistent headache, but it's not a migraine yet, and sometimes alcohol, of course, will trigger that, and I don't, don't want, I do not want a migraine and the cold, so I'm just going to stay clear, stick with hot fluids and even though the alcohol might work I, I just can't chance getting a migraine so I did keep those recipes though so if I'm not having a migraine maybe I'll try them at a different point so that should be interesting I, I think there was some that was like straight I feel like that's gonna be a spit take for that one I apologize in advance all right the first one I'm gonna try is the onion juice I, I, I would have already put the thing in what I the thing in the clip in before this, what I had to do. I can't remember what to do though, and I can't find the comment now. I believe his name was Douglas. But, oh gosh. If I wasn't supposed to drink it and I drink it, I hope I don't puke on camera. Just hold on, hold on. It doesn't smell bad, it just smells like onions. It's probably just gonna smell, it tastes like dressing. I'm glad there's not a lot. Let me show you. Baby, you want some? You wanna drink that? You wanna drink that? Uh-huh. No, you do not. So it only made like, can't, oh yeah, you can see that, you can see it. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna use the onions after for onion soup that somebody else recommended with chicken broth, onions, ginger, and lots of garlic. So that's also happening, so just hold on. First this. Not dramatic at all. <laughs> all right, I put the last couple of drops um, on a spoon for Abigail. So I'm gonna do it first and then she's gonna try. Oh my gosh. It just, oh, it just smells like onion. That wasn't so bad. Well done. It actually wasn't bad tasting. Onion-y. Onion-y. Yep. You went back for more. I mean, it gives you kind of that after, after, but not kind of had a metally taste. I don't know. It wasn't terrible. In my brain, in my noodle, it for sure, I thought for sure it was gonna be super strong and disgusting and gross. In reality, it wasn't bad at all. <laughs> I don't recommend going and making it a regular thing. It has a weird metal taste, I don't know why. Either way, hopefully that helps. <laughs> Next, some onion garlic soup. I'm just gonna rinse off these onions and get any extra sugar off of them. So I slice them up. Oh, was I not filming before? You need to get an elastic first because look what we have hanging out. Our hair. I just noticed the reality of my situation here. I have like Kleenex and toilet paper rolls everywhere because when your nose is running, you don't care. <laughs> What you blow your nose on, you better believe it's, it's happening now. <laughs> well, I guess I wouldn't do it on my leg. You, we would hope. Make sure it's already in, then start slicing through. Now, see how you're holding it? That's, that's better. You have to make sure you have lots of control because you don't want it slipping on the onion. 
Mm -hmm. Keep your thumb out. Can I just leave this piece for you to do? Sure. You want to have your fingers intact. The more you practice, the easier it gets. Actually, hold on. All right, we roughly chopped the onion. I have no clue what I'm doing, I'm guessing. So that was a whole onion, like a, uh, well, you guys saw it before, I'm like a medium sized one. I think I'm going to use half a head because we're not making a very big soup. So half a head of garlic I'm gonna use because I'm gonna feed it to the kids too, just in case they're starting to come down with a little bit of the sniffles. So for the garlic, you wanna cut off the root end just a little bit. And then take your knife, point the blade down. I feel like I've showed you guys this before. You can either hit it, but just in case that knife is not as down as you think, you squeeze the end and the peel just comes off. I find it faster than even doing it shaking in a bowl. If you guys have seen that before, you, put the, you cut the garlic, shove it in a bowl, and then uh, shake it and it takes all the peels off. But it doesn't always work that well. My sister-in-law could do it all the time. It worked every time for her, so I think it's my technique is off. Okay, that's good. No? So we're just putting the onions into the pot. It just has a tiny bit of avocado oil. And we will slowly saute those with a little bit of salt to sweat them out. Somebody else gonna squish the garlic for me. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cloves. These little um, measuring cups I actually got from a student. I should say the student's parents. I love these things, they're great. So we're doing the garlic second because garlic burns so fast. I'm sure you guys know, but if you don't, make sure you put it in after everything needs to be cooked. Well, out of the stuff that you're sauteing because it burns pretty quickly. So I keep my gar uh, my garlic, my ginger in the freezer because then you can just grate it even with the peel. I just wash it before I put it in. I wash it, let it dry so you don't have like a crispy crust on here. And then uh, you can just grate it. But I can also, oh, we were making ginger tea, you can tell. It also slices pretty good, so. I want to put a big chunk of this into the soup as well while it's sauteing. It's frozen, so it's not that easy. Oh, this isn't going very smoothly. Real life in my weak arms. just grate this because look at how slow that's going. Because it's frozen it's just going to melt pretty much. It won't stay in like that. Actually it does a little bit but that's okay. We like ginger. I think I might put more than that in. What is squeaking this thing? This thing's squeaking I guess. Okay I'm gonna go put it in with the onions. Oh, that smells good. I've got this on low, but it's starting to brown. So get all that garlic in there. I'm trying to show them what it looks like in there. You can imagine. Garlic, ginger. So I'm gonna let this go for about 30 seconds. That becomes fragrant. Then we're gonna add the chicken broth. I forgot all about the taste test, you guys. Completely forgot. You're gonna have to excuse me. What did you think, Abigail? It was oniony. Mm-hmm. It's oniony it in there. Oh, yeah, garlicky. I don't know. It's not bad. That's kind of what I thought that the onion water was going to taste like. Actually, it's not bad. I just had the onion, garlic, ginger, and chicken broth. I was going to put in chicken as well because I had some leftover, but I'm a baby. I don't like leftover chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, would you eat it again? I don't know. 
She's like, Mom, don't put me on the spot. What did you think, Jason? I was good. And Jason doesn't like onion. No. Are you just being polite? Oh, let's just going back for more. Better scrape it clean. <laughs> I have to say, after eating that soup, my throat for sure doesn't feel as, or my, like my, not my throat, you know, like your chest, your chest. Oh, I'd get there. Uh, it doesn't, it's not as tingly. Like, you know, right before you cough, oh, it gets all like, not scratchy, but you can feel the cough's gonna come. And my voice, I mean, I'm, I don't know, between the onion juice. The only bad thing about me trying a whole bunch of them is that we're not gonna know whose it was that worked or if my virus just ran its course. Eh, we'll see. Either way, I don't care. All that matters is that uh, I get better and you guys can share in all of this as well. <laughs> so another thing that somebody uh, recommended, plus I already had, is emergency 1,000 milligrams. Uh, and then somebody else recommended something else that was also 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C. This one's called Super Orange. That's, and then also, why did I put it away? This is oregano oil. Let me show you what kind I take. Usually you find it in drops, but I found this one, the oregano oil with vitamin E, and these ones are in the capsule. And I like these ones because it doesn't burn. <laughs> and it seems to work when I actually take these, like if I notice a bunch of kids in my class are sick, I'll start taking these every day and I don't end up catching it. I didn't remember this year, obviously. It's kind of uh, fizzy. It's burning my tongue. It must have been something else because it's never burnt my tongue before. It just tastes like vitamin C chewables in drink form. Yep. I was just cleaning up the kitchen and uh, I noticed my microwave was gross. While I'm wiping it out, I, I know that most of you probably know this, but for those of you who might not, I'm gonna show you my microwave trick. All right, so first, I get a cup, I've already done this, so I'm showing you the aftermath. I get a cup, I only put about, there was a tiny bit more than that in there. That's why it's steaming. But you put a cup in the microwave with the tray. I took everything out already. Put it in for three minutes, however long. Oh, you can see me talking, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> put it in for three minutes, uh, and then while it's boiling, it's steaming the inside. When it's done, I take this part out. I spray it down. This is a... Uh, Hold on. Water, vinegar, a couple drops of Dawn soap, but I also put in this doTERRA on guard cleaner just because it has cloves and stuff that gets rid of um, uh, bacteria and there's some antiviral qualities as well, it's especially with everybody having a cold. I put that in there. But anyways, I sprayed this down as well as the inside of the microwave. Everything just wipes off. And then when you're done, I just take another cloth uh, and uh, get rid of all the streaks. But it really does only take a couple minutes max. You're not scrubbing anything at all. And uh, I thought, you know what, just in case one of you is out there scrubbing your microwaves, it is amazingly easy. Even the top part, it completely just wipes off really easily. So the doorbell rang and guess who's here? It's my dad! And he had a parcel show up. No, we just have to figure more capital. Wait, let me get you some scissors. That would help. See what we got. Yeah, buddy. Did I interrupt your recording? No, you're just part of it now. Because <laughs> you give me how you get it. Oh, what's up? Grandpa got a package. There's another one. Hey, just. Ah, ah, Chewy. Ah, Chewy's all jealous. Oh, yeah, there's a whole Where's bunch of. Now, that's some pretty cool bubble wrap. 
Sounded like a little squeaker. There's that one. Yeah, that one. Go to town. Have fun. No. Just wait. No, no, wait. I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> okay, wow. It's a big box for that. There's an orange award. Oh. Wow. Hello. I said I'm filming you guys. That's big and monstrous. That's a pretty nice watch. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's got covers and everything on it. So what did you get it for? I got it for uh, getting platinum for awards. You get awards at work. You once you get watch. to a certain level. Yeah, once you get to a certain level, you get, you get, uh, you can pick out a prize. Well, my prize this time was a watch. Next time, it could be something else. Now I need operating instructions. You have to push each side. It's like a button release. Like this. Oh, push there it is. Ooh. That's, a, I'm not used to fancying this like that. I used to saw a fossil there. Pretty nice watch. Oh, it's actually the right size now. It's awful big. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. If you look at it at, on film, it just looks like a normal size watch. Wow. Isn't that marvelous? Cool. Oh, that's really cool. It was either this or black one. I picked this one because I thought it looked a lot better. That looks nice. That we just finished supper and the kids helped me with the supper mess. So now that it's all cleaned up, we thought we should play a game. And we're going to try this one. We've played it to get, uh, together before, the Cranium Turbo Edition. If you guys are looking for a good family board game, this one's actually pretty fun. It's... Um, I haven't played it in a long time, so from what I remember, there was facts. One of them was like sculpting. I have Play-Doh, old Play-Doh from my preschool. I'm sure that's not full of uh, grossness. <laughs> I can't remember what they all were. Oh, spelling, something else. Anyways, it's basically like an awesome game, Pictionary and creating and stuff. It's like super trivia with not trivia. Some of red was facts, so there is trivia. Are you excited? Oh yeah, I never could do I'm scared. Abigail just finished saying, oh no, not the facts. <laughs> but right before this too, <coughs> we ended up, have you guys ever heard Cadillac Ranch? So I'm not sure if this is an Alberta thing, but in school we had to take dance. And part of dance was oh, no. line dancing. And I swear, every single person my age as soon as Cadillac Ranch comes on, I swore every single one of us could do the line dance for it. Every one of us. I, I'm serious. So it was funny because the kids were trying to remember or remember, <laughs> remember it. And I, I for it. sure could remember. And yeah, so there was like a full-on dance-off happening in my house. That happened. I must be feeling better. Yep. On to the board game. Yeah, okay. Well, this was a long game. But I'm going to let them do a one of the cards so that you guys can see how it goes. Yeah, it's one in the morning right now. Me and Steven get to it's do it. It's 10 p.m. and they're supposed to be in bed at 9, so. We're rebels. Okay, what are you guys going to do? What okay, do we're going to do the turbo side show, and I'm going to make Steven <coughs> move his arms and stuff. Oh, no. He has to guess. It's like charades. No, no, Jason can charades. say nothing. No, 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 no. But he has to move his arms. Why? I don't like this. Here no, we go. Here we go. I'm spooked. Can we do a different one? So Jason, gonna, okay, what are you gonna do, Jason? I'm gonna move Abigail's. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. Um, so I'm gonna move Abigail's arms and stuff, and the the object is activities. The hint is. He has to move her arms and legs, yeah. and she has to guess what she's doing. Okay. What timer? Oh, hit the timer. we're not gonna do the. T okay, well, I'll do the timer. Okay. Here's the timer. Sorry. Backstroke. <laughs> <laughs> Dance. Go on to the next one. <laughs> They're activities. Night club. Um, golf. Cheering for a game. I gotta show Abigail what golf is. <laughs> golf. <laughs> um, ow. Um, <laughs> Gentle, please. Ow. <laughs> You're gonna throw me. Knocking on my door. <laughs> Okay, Jason, what is it? 
It was dirt. Ah, uh, what was the first one? The first one was a pool. How are you supposed to show a pool with a person? Oh, she did say the backstroke. In the meantime, and I, I said swimming. swimming. If you yeah. wanna... But darts, she said go. Why did you put pencils <laughs> up his nose? I was trying to distract you guys with- No, no, no! This gets to be a pretty crazy game. There's also one that is uh, where you have to sculpt the words. So, Stephen got hangnail. He had to sculpt from Play-Doh. Thank goodness I had Play-Doh from class. Yeah. He had to sculpt from, it usually comes with clay, but ours dried out. Jason's drinking some water in the background. <laughs> I already showed them your weird oh, little sculpture. You did? Oh, yeah. You guys are lucky. It's beautiful. So it's been a long day. I'm glad that we ended up leaving it on a fun game. Although it went longer than I thought. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, me and Steven won. I knew he'd say who won. <laughs> we really tried. It gets it gets you going, that's for sure. There's a lot of activities and you yeah, we'll you get frustrated. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. You get frustrated, but it's so much fun that you forget and you you get in a good mood all over again. <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna forget that we won. Yeah, he said he's never gonna forget that he won. I don't, I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to. I think we won. What do you think? Yeah, we won because we're the best. <laughs> you yeah. won it in your brains. Okay, you guys. Can you say goodnight to everyone? Good night to everyone. Abigail's already going upstairs. Thank you for cleaning it up. Thank you guys for coming along on vlog, vlogmas seven. I'm feeling better. Alexander hopefully is feeling better. He's in Ontario right now. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, in the next vlog. Vlogmas number eight. Bye.